Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I dare to start off the part with another Clubba's kiosk level. Well, it's a Lost World level, but yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'll pay. <laughs> we both know the outcome of this. So, uh, what's Cranky have to say? Just for the heck of it. I did! Uh. <laughs> well, maybe he's talking about the, the Lost World levels or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, Clobber Carnage! This one... It's, as you know, you know the enemy Clobber, that guy right there. Well, it's a level entirely based off of it, and they're going to try and knock you into the Spikes of Death. And yeah, that's pretty much the gimmick of the level, aside from some rotation barrel segments a little later on. <laughs> you have to you sometimes have to bait them depending on where they are and whatnot and what is Is this really just for the K? That's it? Really? I could throw a monkey up there and I don't have to switch. <laughs> so what's the point of that barrel? I guess maybe if you don't have uh, Diddy along with you, um, it's a choose your destiny sort of thing, I guess. Maybe it is? Oh. Eh. Alright, rotation barrels. If you're playing this on an emulator like uh, ZSNES, these will not work properly. <laughs> They'll actually spin uncontrollably and that'll make this level practically impossible. Luckily I am using the Hegan emulator because I knew about that bug, so yeah. Oh geez, the one that knocks all lives. <laughs> uh, you know, you could get this without the barrel whatsoever, it's just... It's like there's a lot of pointless uh, character barrels all over the place, dang it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Just stop it! Wait, which character am I? I was Diddy, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess like this? Yeah. You gotta kind of remember sometimes what character you are as you go. And there we go. Oh boy. The second half is a lot more intense. Oh god. TNT guy. <laughs> Luckily, once you stun him, you can use him as a weapon safely. Eh. Uh, I wonder if there's something up there. I'm just out of curiosity. Probably something. I guess not. Uh, the bonus of this level, I remember it. It's way, way, way at the end. And it is a thing that you have to be careful to actually avoid hitting the uh, end goal thingy. So, yeah, wait a second. Uh, how was I supposed to do that? <laughs> I'm, I was kind of unsure about that. Maybe I was supposed to shoot directly upwards? Uh, 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 <laughs> dang you! I hate the things that knock you around in games. Uh, maybe I should be Diddy. Just sticking with Diddy because uh, I probably would have missed. I mean, I probably would have gotten the coin if I stayed as Dixie. But I mean, as Diddy, I have a choice to. Um, I mean, not not a choice. Excuse me. I get to keep my hovering character. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I gotta get ahead of it, otherwise I am doomed. Uh, good thing this one doesn't have a timer. Oh, geez, must get ahead of it again. Oh. Goodness gracious, great balls of fish food. Oh! 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 <laughs> Alright. I think I am done. Oh, geez. Need that. Okay, I don't really need that. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> um, okay, here. See that banana past the goal? Okay, what you gotta do here is shoot up to the barrel. Actually, shoot to the right. That's actually a bonus barrel over there. Yeah, I will destroy them all. And, oh geez. Come to think of it, if I uh, uh, needed Diddy to get in that barrel, maybe I should have had uh, Dixie the whole way through. I, I, I didn't remember that there was a special character barrel 
at the end of the stage that I needed a specific character for, but it all worked out anyway, so I guess it, guess it doesn't really matter. Woo! Jungle Remix! <laughs> and I think that does it, because there only seems to be one bonus area per Lost World stage, so we are good to go. Next level, Rambi Rumble! This is a rather short stage, but it's got some pretty well hidden stuff, so be very be careful of missing stuff. Oh, and I forgot all about this. If you team up, no oh, wait, I gotta I gotta do it on solid ground. If you team up the characters, you can actually walk. Great, <laughs> you can actually walk on the honey as if it's regular ground. Here, I'll just why did I do that? Now oh, whatever. Oh, I'm just feeling it. I want to hold the Y button, but I guess I can't do that. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, if you hold, I mean, if you just hold a character like so, you'll be able to walk on the honey with no issues. You don't have to worry about stickiness, but eh, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of iffy because you're slower and yeah, I'm used to doing it like this, I suppose. And I think there's something like in one of the corners. If I ah, I thought I failed there. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, letter K. Down is likely death, as usual. Down is always death. I've described this before, but just in case you haven't heard that saying before, wait, what's that over there? <laughs> but if there if there's a lower path or there's a higher path, chances are the lower path is going to lead you into more obstacles. <clears throat> Okay, how do I get up there? There's definitely something up there. Well, at least it, it seems like there's something up there. Just based on the, the honey trail. <coughs> oh, I should have went left, dang it. <coughs> Alright, how... Uh, wait, is that a balloon? Like, straight up here? Hmm. It looked like there was a little little edge of a balloon poking out from the top of the screen. See that? I don't know if you can see that after I cropped the video, but it's like the fifth honeycomb at the top over that little small line. It looks like there's a little something something. <laughs> Alright, this is really dangerous. Oh shoot, I thought it was safe. Ah, uh, maybe I should go back up and get Diddy. Eh, eh. No, no. <laughs> All right, slow descent. Well, maybe not. Oh, I should say controlled descent. <laughs> maybe those hooks were. I mean, maybe this honey was where the other path led, or something. I don't know. Because I, I know the, the level design of these places kind of crisscrosses over each other, and they kind of make bottomless pits that aren't actually bottomless. <laughs> Just based on where the camera goes. You have to see a map of the, the level to see what I mean. Ah, okay, this is the spot that I was thinking of. Oh, jeez. How do I get... Ugh. Cursed ceiling. <laughs> Ceilings are your worst nemesis. But there's another hook there. Wait, what? How do you... Seriously, what? Oh, come on. It seems like I'm relatively safe from falling based on the uh, structure of this. I just have to hold the direction and I'll be able to catch myself on some honey or something. Oh, shoot! No! I'm holding... What? I'm... My controls are stuck. What? Why did that do that? Maybe my controller is going or something. Like, remember that time that I got stuck in the barrel? Yeah, I'm trying to move now and I can't move. That's... Uh oh. <laughs> this is my only controller, too, so if this controller is going, that is kind of a bother for the walkthrough. Anyway, I'll try. Wait, what? I thought. Uh, I was just testing my controls, by the way. Wait, I thought. Oh, did I, did I manage to fall that far down and I just didn't notice it in my panic or something? <laughs> Alright. Gotta climb back up carefully. 
what is... Yeah, I think the controller is getting kind of iffy. I wonder if I should, like, unplug it and plug it back in or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, stuck. Dang it. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Okay, the D-pad seems to be working consistently now. After the unplugging, so... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> as long as it works consistently for the duration that I need it for, I suppose I'm okay. Anyway, up here. Maybe I'll have an easier time now with Diddy. Ah! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Is this... That's Yeah, that's a door. <laughs> it was kind of camouflaged by that, that running honey there. Alright. Gotta find the token. Even though it's clearly, clearly upwards. <laughs> I don't even know why they say find the token. It's the most linear path they could possibly have chosen. Alright. No! That was a terrible time to take a hit. I didn't even make it to the midpoint, so I've got a lot of climbing to do. Wow, that makes that part really easy. Just jumping down the left side like that. Alright, so here we are. Back at ye old letter O. Oh, jeez, right at the midpoint. <laughs> Dang checkpoints right when I need them. Ah, I'm just checking this down here, don't mind me. Okay, I remember Cranky said something about look around, oh, I was going to say look around near where, oh, where the uh, uh, Rambi spot is, and this is indeed where the Rambi spot is, and uh, this is just there to block your way because you can't actually get through the rest of this level. You'll see what I mean in just a second here. Alright. In here is Rambi. Oh yeah. I am good to go. I have sharpened my horn. I have unplugged my controller and plugged it back in. Alright. You have no idea what's coming. But something big is coming. Wait for the music. Wait, where's the music? Where? Ah! There's something that's supposed to be coming. Maybe it's a little bit later. But I'm scared. <laughs> oh, that didn't even mean to kill you. But anyway, this is, as you can tell, a zinger jumping segment with the near invincible feet footed Rambi. In fact, you can jump on this one infinite, infinitely if you would like to. <laughs> ah, here we go! The Chase of Doom! There's a giant zinger behind me in case you can't realize that. I believe it's actually King Zing. That's the upcoming boss here. Oh, the intensity! The fright! Oh, jeez, it's really fast. <laughs> um, oh, sh ow, pain. Uh oh. Oh, you can't jump on it. I forgot about that. <laughs> and as you can see, it, it waits for you until you jump. And yeah, it's a killer of a bee. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. From the top. Hey, wait a second. Where? No Donkey Kong barrel? Is there? Really? Where is... Are they really going to make me do this just solo without any... Uh, buddy with me? I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter, because if I take one hit from King Zing, it, it doesn't make any difference, because it's, because if I take a hit from it, it's already caught up with me, and I'm doomed anyway. Oh, there's the Donkey Kong, <clears throat> Donkey Kong barrel, and I lose it instantly. <laughs> That's just how things seem to go with me, I suppose. Alright, it's coming. There it is! <laughs> Alright, this time, no, no screw-ups, just keep moving. But I know there's a, bo a special bonus thing that I'm gonna have to break a wall into. I just gotta remember which wall it is. I think it's right below the exit, actually. Uh, right here. 
Yes! I knew I'd recognize it if I seen it. If you jump in that barrel, you will obli obviously miss your chance. And... no, oh, this is gonna be so easy. <laughs> if I'm just po powering through them like this, all I have to do is just zigzag through the pattern and I am golden. Just like this coin. Yeah! And... that's all I get for that. <laughs> Letter G. Oh. Oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think I have time for the boss, which is King Zing Sting, which I believe is the thing that was, I mean, the bee that was chasing me in the previous level. Uh, because you actually need a special animal buddy in order to beat it. Squawks battle time! And once you're inside the arena, you can't go back out. Alright. You want to keep it in your sight at all times, if at all possible. You'll notice that it's got a red stinger, and that's its weakness. Just pay attention to it at all times, as I said. Because you don't want to lose sight of it, basically. When you lose sight of it, what happens is that you kind of lose the predictability lose its predictability, and then what happens is that uh, you take hits from its shots off screen and whatnot, or it surprises you off the edge of the screens. Like, you see it's just doing a, a simple zigzag pattern here. Alright. And it's going to start turning red, and then it's going to start shooting faster. Just stay away from the ah, diagonals and lateral angles. It went up to the top faster than I expected it was. <laughs> Maybe I should focus on staying under it, if at all possible, and hit it when it's at the top of the screen so I have time to dodge it. I think that might be a wiser course of action. <laughs> Instant hit! But I know it's not going to do the uh, shooty-shoot thing just yet, so I'm, I, I know it's safe to start attacking it now. Okay, go up to the top, it's every two hits, and, oop, missed. Oh, dang it! I can do it now, now, wait. This boss is about the patience, then again, most bosses are about the patience. Okay, go up, one more level, cough, cough, yo, that worked! <laughs> it's rare that I can hit it at that angle, I usually have to shoot when its back is turned towards me. Yep, there we go. That's what I wanted it to, to do, because whenever it stops that shooting cycle, it goes to the top of the screen. Voila! And when it's raging, it just moves faster. What? How dare you hit me? Wah! Dang it. Oh wait, don't, don't hit it there. I'm being stupid. <laughs> I'm being impatient. Wah! Whoa. Dang it! Must precise shoot. You are very tricky to hit, aren't you? I'm just trying to hit it anywhere I can now, because it's it's getting kind of tricky. Dang it. There we go. This is probably not going to work to my advantage, though. Oh, jeez, that was the worst possible thing I could have done. <laughs> I must rematch until I win. Otherwise, this walkthrough will never be finished. And I'm happy my uh, directional pad is what my D-pad. I was going to say dance pad for some reason. <laughs> I've been playing too much Dance Dance Revolution lately. And you are very fast in your, uh, after the third hit, by the way. <laughs> You're going to go to the top. Okay. Calm yourself. Relax. Focus on the stinger. I'm talking to myself here. Then again, what, when don't I talk to myself? <laughs> Nupsy Daisy! Yes! Okay, I'll lead him over here and around. Yeah, okay. And eventually he's going to stop that pattern and do something else, of which he's going to be uh, uh, much more vulnerable than he was before. You'll see what I mean when, when I get there. Oh! oh. That was close. <laughs> I think I'm just getting used to its pattern, which is why I'm able to react to it a little better now. Because it's been a while since I played this boss, obviously. So as I said, I haven't 100%ed this game in a while. And there we go! Final phase! 
kill off the buddies, and then they'll be able to shoot at the transformed King Zing. And once you hit that, he's gonna start getting all crazy like. Well, okay, not that crazy. It's just a matter of it's it's like a homing enemy. <laughs> it's done. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah! Do the monkey! <laughs> and with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part here because I finished another world. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next world and part. <laughs>